Elizabeth, welcome to A House for Arts. It's such a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. I love your show, and it's a real oh, privilege to be here with you. Thanks. That's a real compliment, and I know you've been an honored guest on WMHT a few yeah. times, so welcome back. Thank you so much. I'm a huge PBS fan, so <laughs> always love to be here. Yeah. So you've, you've been the CEO and director of SPAC for over five years now, yeah. which, is, which is just fantastic, and I know that this past two years have been a real interesting roller coaster for SPAC. Yeah. Um, tell us a bit about your background and how you got into leading SPAC. I know you're yeah. a veteran in the classical music and recording industry. Am I right about that? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, I, so I think, you know, I grew up in North Carolina and played the piano originally and thought I was going to be a classical pianist. And then when I got to about age of 18, I started realizing I did not have what it took to be a great <laughs> classical pianist, and I did not want to be a mediocre classical pianist. And I ended up coming to uh, New York to do an internship in a small management company called Hamlin Management. And um, I had the most incredible time. The people who were cr created the startup, we didn't even use that phrase in those days, mm -hmm. but it was a startup. And I just loved it. I love the idea now that I had left the piano behind myself of being there to help realize the careers and dreams of, of really amazing artists. And so right, right. shortly after the time that my internship ended, I got a call from the owner saying, guess what, we're being acquired by IMG, the sports behemoth, right. to start IMG Artists. Um, right, which the, is still around today. It's a it, huge talent huge, management company. Huge, And yeah. it really, like, um, it, like, that was an unheard of story for a, a per, you know, performing arts agency. It's one thing if you're, you know, representing actors or pop and rock stars, but in the classical arts, yeah. to be acquired by such a behemoth like, like IMG was really incredible. And so um, the owner said, you know, now that we've got some money, we want to hire you back to be our director of sales. And I went from being an intern to director of sales to like 30 years later, I was now managing director of the firm. So right. I loved the company and it was an incredible opportunity to ride this wave of going from startup to global leader. And the artists that I worked with over those years, I... Yeah, what are some of the artists that you've worked with before yeah, that really stick out so, in your mind? Yeah, so I was incredibly lucky um, to represent um, artists like Itzhak Perlman and Joshua Bell, James Galway, Renee mm -hmm. Fleming, um, Yevgeny Some of these Kissin. are famous violinists, right? Yeah, these are some of the biggest names in classical music. Yeah. And then I also, over time, um, because I was of a younger generation than the then owners or directors of the company, I wanted to diversify the company and started a, div a dance division. You know, we represented Bill T. Jones, Urban Bushwomen, we expanded and had many of the most important uh, dance companies in the world at that time. And then we started a jazz and world music division. And then we started a more of a contemporary composer and theater division. And then we started That's working incredible. with films. So it so was it sounds really, like it was really eclectic. You were really yes. kind of growing, expanding. So yeah. has this had an impact then on your work at, at SPAC in any way? Because I yes. want to kind of shift gears then and talk about your work at SPAC. What is SPAC yes. on a bigger level and its history? Yeah. So, so the Saratoga before Performing Arts Center, um, as you know, most of your viewers in the Capital Region will know, opened in 1966 in the Spa State Park in Saratoga Springs. And it started um, kind of as the home of the Philadelphia Orchestra and then conductor Eugene Ormandy and New York City Ballet with yeah. George Balanchine at the helm. Those were like two of the greatest companies in the world then and continue to be two of the greatest companies in the world in residence in Saratoga Springs, right. now population of 30,000. That's astonishing that that happens. Those companies don't tour to other places. New York City Ballet, for instance, goes to DC to the Kennedy Center, right. and Philadelphia also goes to Vail. But the notion of having these world-class ensembles in our backyard in Saratoga in residence every summer is quite miraculous. That's really incredible. And so what, you know, I know that, that SPAC has had all these incredible artists come through and these incredible institutions that have made it their, basically their resident home. Yeah. 
What is it too that makes SPAC such a gem of summer festival yeah. venues nationwide and on a wider level? Yeah, it's such a good question because we are one of five sister summer festivals along with our colleagues at the Hollywood Bowl in LA, Ravinia outside of Chicago, Wolf Trap outside of DC, and of course the beloved Tanglewood right across the, the, the Massachusetts border. And these are iconic venues um, representing the best in the performing arts and also you know, large, we're 5,200 seats in the amphitheater and another 20,000 on the lawn. Those are big venues. Um, and so I knew about SPAC when I was running IMG, the talent agency, for many years. I was sending artists up here. And then after IMG, I went to Universal Music to run a record label. Most of the artists promoting albums were coming through SPAC to promote their albums. But I had never been to Saratoga. I knew it, of it, but I did never. I never came to Saratoga until I actually was recruited for the position of president and CEO by a search firm. And when I came to Saratoga, what I discovered, um, and a Obviously, I've been to all these other festivals around. I wanted to actually ask you about this because it seems like Saratoga's really famous for its horse racetrack. Yes. And even you know, as somebody who's kind of like originally an outsider as yeah. well, I had never known yes. <laughs> about this incredible Saratoga Performing Arts Center or it's like incredible. that part of the park or these other cultural institutions. Yeah. You know, the irony of that. So. Yet, yeah, can, can you speak a bit about SPAC's role in the sort of the unsung hero of cultural tourism in yeah, this region? Yeah, it's really, I, I'm getting, I, I mean, I'm gonna tell you a, a story that like when I received the call from the search firm, my first call saying that we're, we've been hired to um, look for the new, you know, the new head of Saratoga Performing Arts Center, I was down, my husband and I have had an apartment in Miami Beach and I was just like, Thanks, I'm going out of my balcony here and I'm gonna describe the view of the ocean to you <laughs> and to, you're, you're gonna tell me why I would ever consider moving to upstate New York and to Saratoga. Which now, of course, I feel ashamed at that reaction that I'm willing to admit how, how ridiculous my reaction was. But I had, Saratoga had not really, it wasn't on my radar as this incredibly vibrant city full of cultural offerings. Now that I live there, I know that like there's live music, really good live music, oh, jazz yeah. and all sorts of other music in Saratoga. Think about the lineup just at Cafe Lena, which is right. such a gem, 365 days a year. That's right. astonishing for a city of that size. And you also have obviously Yaddo, which is, you know, a, 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 an iconic, important historical artist retreat, right. you know. I mean, it's famous nationwide to host and resident writers. Well, I mean, it's think about absolutely. in the music world, like Leonard Bernstein was there, Aaron Copeland was there, James Baldwin was there. I mean, right. Bob no Dylan went through. It's just, oh my God, it's yeah. incredible. So Saratoga has a history of being a, mag a magnet for some of the greatest artists across many genres. Then you get over to SPAC and see ev all the artists who've come through, not just the 55 years of ballet and orchestra, but all the artists Live Nation have brought through, <clears throat> Jazz Fest has brought through. It it's really astonishing. And then I haven't even mentioned, you know, like the Tang Museum, like Universal Preservation yes. Hall, which has just opened. You've got Opera Saratoga, which is really extraordinary. So many museums. May it's I ask, amazing. Elizabeth? Right, it is incredible. May I ask, like, why is it that the people from outside the region often don't know about SPAC and yeah. Yaddo and Cafe Lena and the Tang Museum. What is going on here? Well, I think, you know, I think that people in Saratoga and the capital region, but particularly in Saratoga, they're extremely proud of the city and what the city represents. <clears throat> but I think it has frankly taken people like myself and others who've come to town um, recently from the you know from New York or from other places coming to Saratoga to just say you do realize this is not normal you know you do realize you have something going on here that is utterly incomparable yeah. for a small city right. forget about in upstate New York anywhere in North America to have this kind of concentration of cultural richness right. is miraculous right. and extraordinary and really incomparable. And I think it's taken those of us coming in from out of town saying, you don't really, 
really what you have here. Right. The locals taking for granted just how like fantastic yeah, this is. Yeah, they're <laughs> proud of it and they don't realize just how incredible it is. And so it's taken those of us outsiders coming in going, how is it I wasn't coming to Saratoga every summer as my destination out yeah. of town? Like yeah. every summer when I was living in New York City and I would be like, how, where am I going to go for, you know, I want hiking, I want kayaking, I want to be outdoors, but I also want to know, like, I can go see a movie or a concert or whatever. Right, right, right. So I, frankly, would end up going to southern Vermont where I could hike the Green Mountains, I could kayak, but I also But knew, then you've got SPAC and you've got all these amazing venues. Yeah. And, and you don't have to go to Southern, no, 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 you know, harm to Vermont or anything no, like that. No, and but. by the way, Northshire Books, which is one of my favorite bookstores in the world, I used to go from New York to Southern, to, to Manchester, Vermont, to go to Northshire. Right. Now it's in my backyard, right. along with the Spa State Park and all the cultural uh, richness that we were just talking so, about. So let's talk about this then. Let's get people kind of moving on this coming to SPAC every summer. Yeah. What do you have lined up for um, different events and different shows coming up? Well, so of course there is, we're back full throttle at SPAC this year, which means two full days, two stages of Fry Harper's Saratoga Jazz Fest. This is our 45th year. We're one of the longest consecutively running jazz fests in North America. Incredible. It's an amazing lineup. Needless to say, we're back finally with New York City Ballet with the full company in July. Three full weeks of Philadelphia Orchestra, 12 completely different programs, which is not something that they do anywhere else in the world to have right. that amount of diversity and um, completely distinct programs. But what's kicking off most quickly um, is our Festival of Young Artists, which is always the first weekend in June, and that's gonna be back full throttle. Wonderful. We have like hundreds and hundreds of young artists from around the Capital Region, painters, poets, dancers, musicians who right. gather to collaborate, perform together, and then they all go into the, the amphitheater where they literally, hundreds of young artists are on stage performing together in a whole complete like created, um, orchestrated event. That sounds absolutely it's, amazing. It is amazing. Wow. It's really amazing. Well, yeah. well, people can obviously learn more about the uh, amazing slew of programs that you have coming up this yeah. summer. And I'm so thrilled and so excited that you've come back full throttle yeah. after this pandemic. And I'm sure everyone's thrilled about it. Yeah. I'm sure they can learn about it online on SPAC's yes. website. SPAC.org, it's all there. Awesome. Well, Good. Elizabeth, it was so amazing to have you back. Thank you. So on a PBS much. affiliate back on thank WMHT. Um, thank you so much for coming. And thank you. We love the work you all do.